Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So after the lovely week of 70s and 80 degree weather, it has turned back cold. And we are down in the 30s, some 20s at night. So I, tonight, am going to make a quick hearty soup. I'm rotating my preps as well as getting um, some quick meals that I don't have to be slaving over a stove for hours on end. So tonight I'm going to be making some creamy potato soup from the package. I could do it from scratch, but I thought this would be, would be easier. I have some ham hair from 2021 and some potato squash mix from 20. So those need to be used up. Now, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So everything is pretty much in except for the meat. And my potato squash mixture, I'm just meshing it up a little bit so it's not as big going in. Still a few chunks, but not as big as coming right out of the jar. And I am using the liquid from the ham in here to give it a flavor. And I did pour off the water from my squashed potatoes because I don't want that starch. I've also found in my fridge some vegetable liquid and some celery that I use for another meal and I'm going to use the liquid off of both of those just to give this soup a little more bulk. And I was reading the back of this um, packaging and yeah, this one is actually from Oldies. It's not exactly vegan, but it's vegan enough for me. And what I do is I make um, it up and then I take some out before I put the meat in and that's the portion that I would eat. And I don't know if you can see this. Um, yeah, I think they've been doing this for years and just never been telling us. And now they have to because it's been mandated that they actually put it on the packaging. But anyway, I will put the ham in once my uh, soup has simmered. And I will be adding a little bit of thickener in the form of the DIY potato soup mix that I made up myself. So this is what it looks like. Not too thick, not too thin. Right in between just where we like it. And I've added the meat and everything into this portion of it and taken out what I need for myself. And this is my bowl with no meat in it. So I'm going to serve this with a side of homemade rolls. There are so many ways you can stretch this meal by putting a side of veg or even putting veg in it. You can add shredded cheese to the chop. You can add mushrooms in it. You can add all kinds of things to this. You can add more potatoes, other vegetables, and stretch this and make it whatever you want it to be and be able to feed as many people as you need to feed. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. Thank you very much and have a great day.